this is what I'm reading at the moment. I've just started it, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've managed to get quite a way through. I think one night I read quite a lot. Um, the main character in the book owns a fabric shop, so it's right up my street. Um, I don't tend to read the back of books when I buy them because it kind of gives stuff away and I don't like that, like spoilers. Um, so I didn't even know that, but I've just noticed there's buttons on the words there too. So I thought that was perfect, but yeah, enjoying that one. Sophie Clare, I've never heard of that author, but so far so good. Um, all of these Christmassy books that I read generally have the same story. The woman turns up at a big house, the owner is there, he's really grumpy. Yeah, they all start the same and you know where it's got to go, but it's easy reading and that is just what I need right now. I still haven't got round to making myself a Christmassy bookmark yet. Just taking a few photos now of the bags so I can get them in my shop. Just love the Snoopy one so much but the tartan is just so gorgeous and it's got the gold metallic stripe through it. It's just, oh I love it so much. I've also got some Snoopy stitch markers in my shop. These are some Christmassy ones. How cute. And I've got another little wintry one which is Woodstock with his, oops, with his scarf on. It's so cute. If you're a Snoopy fan, there's also some other Snoopy stitch markers in my shop, like non-Christmassy ones. Um, and I think the bookmark is still there as well, if you'd like the bookmark in the same fabric. By the time you see the video, the bags will be in the shop, so if you would like one, then snap one up. trying to film a bit in front of the Christmas tree, but every time I sit down, Tilly comes over to see what's happening, so she's going to be here too. I feel like I'm fighting with the daylight today. It's half past two and it's so dark in my sitting room. Just popped on the tree lights. I'm going to sit down here for a bit now. I just wanted to show you that Joshua and I have been so lucky to have been sent some gifts for under our tree by some friends and some viewers. He could not believe his luck when he found out that he had a little pile of his own, these white and red ones. I've got a few little ones for me too and some exciting looking things here in a basket and this one which came for me from Carol oh my goodness I know what that is and I'm gonna just open it now I haven't had a chance yet she's been so busy through the week um but yeah already feeling so so lucky to have some gifts under our tree from very very far away friends these two the bucket here and these ones are all from america it just feels so exciting i haven't got any advents this year and i haven't done any swaps which is absolutely fine by me i didn't want to have any stress this year so i didn't arrange any swaps and from not having the stress of having to do it, I found that I did want to plan a few little surprises for people, so I have done that. Um, annoyingly, I put something in the post on the... I thought I'd turn you around there because my arm's going to get sore. I put something in the post on the 25th of November, which was um, 
a Friday ago, maybe 10 days ago. I put it first class sign for it and it still hasn't been delivered so I'm a bit annoyed at that. Um, and I hope it's going to turn up because um, yeah, a lot of effort went into it so as much as I'm getting a lot of messages from customers wondering where their orders are and why they're late, I'm also a Royal Mail user myself and I'm not only am I waiting on things arriving that I've ordered but I send things as well and they go missing or lost or delayed so it's really stressful all round. I'm waiting on something arriving um, that was posted two weeks ago in the UK so I'm really worried about that but from one small business owner to another I'm putting off messaging the seller because I know what it feels like to keep getting these messages saying that customers haven't received their orders so I'm just giving it a bit more time because I know how these things work um, and I know that it could well turn up this week I'm hoping it does um oh yeah I'm gonna open this I'm gonna open this um very exciting parcel OMG, oh it just matches my jumper. This is an advent skein from the Cozy Knitter and I've seen this on Instagram and never thought in a million years I would own some. That is, wow, amazing. She does um, self-striping yarns and she always does a Christmas one, which is a surprise, I think. And I've seen so many American people on Instagram doing it every year. Um, so you get two skeins here that are already skinned up um, and they should make a matching pair of socks and there's a mini skein there as well for the heels toes and cuffs oh wow that's stunning now i'm torn between doing what i was going to do this afternoon and casting on some socks this truly really makes me want to make socks especially in a stripe such yummy colors it's called bliss i don't feel pressured to make these in december though so what i might do is wait until december calms down a little bit and then cast them on and Oh, I should say the idea is that there's 24 stripes in it, I think, so you knit one every day. So they're advent socks, which is just such a brilliant idea. Colours, love those reds and greens. Beautiful. Wow, I can't, I could not believe it when I opened the parcel and I knew the label. I've seen the label on Instagram, so yeah, I was very excited, so... Thank you so much to Carol who sent this over from California, I think. Very exciting. I'm going to purposely not rip the label off because you know that will end up in my journal when I do some Christmassy journaling. That's gorgeous. And of course, when you get a stripe of yarn, you just want to start knitting to see what it knits up like. But wow, lucky girl. Very exciting. little Santas are the equivalent of stockings that my mum made. One of them was mine. I think this one is mine from when I was younger. And then she made Joshua one when he arrived. Very cute, aren't they though? My cat is being a pain today. <laughs> if you can hear any noises, it's her rubbing herself on a cardboard box. So, for some reason, I can't remember why, maybe a long, long time ago when I was little, but I associate After Eight chocolates with Christmas. Maybe it's because we had a box one Christmas, maybe it's because we had them lots of times, I don't know. It could just be that one-off, but I've just always associated them with Christmas now. So, I like to treat myself and have a box to have on the go throughout December. 
Now, if you've never seen these before, they come in a little box and they come in little papery envelopes. And they are just like little mint things, but they've got cream, mint cream inside them. Dark chocolate, they are really nice. So, what I want to ask you is, do you have any foods that you associate with Christmas that are not really typical Christmas foods? Obviously mince pies and stolen and all that kind of thing, and gingerbread, but yeah, what, what do you have to have at Christmas that you consider Christmassy that isn't actually Christmassy? Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa I'm going to now sit down and do what I've been intending to do for ages, and I haven't got round to doing it. Um, I've got a beautiful project bag here, which I got from my friend Brandy last year. We did a Christmas swap, and I've been preparing some things for sewing. So I bought some patterns here. This is a book of all different stitching patterns. It's by the curious Miss B, who is really difficult to find on Etsy because I tried to search for her shop and I couldn't find it. Um, so I'll put a link below if I remember. Um, I had to use the link through her Instagram page, which is the curious Miss B. Um, but yeah, by searching that on Etsy, I couldn't find it. But anyway, I love this style of embroidery. Um, it's just called, to me, I think you call it um, like primitive stitchery and it's just really sort of a, a t typical sort of simple style, but I really like it. So this booklet has, I think, over 80 different um, patterns in it, different um, embroidery patterns. These would make, if my son was smaller, I would have printed this out for him to colour in as well, because he would have loved that when he was younger. Um, so I've had a good look through here and I've decided on a couple of patterns that I would like to try first. So um, I'm going to get on with that. Look, we've got a Christmas tree in a car and a reindeer. But I love the style of simple drawings like these. Um, so yeah, I've prepared some fabric. I've traced the patterns onto my fabrics um, by sticking it up on the window. As you do, I'm going to start off with a couple of little stockings here and I've got uh, an angel as well if I get round to that. Um, so what you should do is use some wadding behind it of some sort and then that gives it a nice puffy look, like a quilty look when you're stitching. Really, really um, like that look as well. So these are typically um, done all in one colour so we'd be refer to as red work uh, you can do them in any color you want if you want them colored uh, different colors or all one color I've found some red in my stash here the light has gone terrible this is DMC 321 and it's just a proper Christmassy red not too red but um, a little bit darker than a proper red but red 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 so I'm gonna um, get some of them onto a bobbin I think I did yeah I've got myself out a uh, little ring and I need to go and get some bobbins. I've got some in my stock room because I sell them in my shop on rings like this. Um, so I'm going to use one and I've got uh, some embroidery hoops ready and I also need to go and find myself some needles. So I'm going to go and make a coffee, get on with that and hopefully um, it shouldn't take me too long. Um, these are the sort of patterns as well though that if you really wanted you could make these as appliques You could just cut out each bit out of different fabrics and then sew them onto a background That would be really effective as well actually And I know that on her Instagram page she actually has done that with some of the designs So I have sat and had a really good look through her Instagram one day just to get a bit of inspiration It was really nice um, Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go make a coffee and maybe find a cheesy Christmas film to watch. That would be nice. This one is actually the size of the hoop that you get in my shop and it comes with 10 bobbins. 
um, the one that I have found I have had for years it's a little bit smaller um, but it will do the job just the same and I've just grabbed a couple of bobbins from my stock room I'm going to wind up my threads I've also brought some little snippy scissors because when you're doing embroidery little scissors are just so much easier to work with than big chunky scissors so these are um, available in my shop as well. I've got a few pairs left in some different colours and you get a lid with them and then they've got a little hangy thing so you can attach them to your project bags and your projects as well. So I'm good to go. When everything is white Glimmering silver white And stillness fills the night it's Christmas, a winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy in the air, families near. We give thanks for this past 